self-taught artist. Her name is Susan Mills. Now Susan has decided to combine science with storytelling and art in her new book, Human Rescuers. And Zainab Bolladale has traveled to Tralee to meet her. Waterford native Susan Mills and her husband Barry describe themselves as pet parents to their three dogs, Baby, Bunny and Peanut. Out on their daily walk on the farmland that surrounds their home in Kerry, they're discussing what's left to prepare for Susan's upcoming exhibition and book launch. For years, Susan put aside her artistic talent as she was uncertain of how to make a living from it. In secondary school, her teacher encouraged her to consider an artistic career, but she was also curious about science, in particular, microbiology, which she earned a PhD in. with her at her home where her art is exhibited in every room including the makeshift gallery space built by her husband oh wow so these are all how many paintings there's 43 paintings all together they're gorgeous we all are creative i think our creative side is probably our inner child and i probably ignored it for too long probably to the detriment of myself so i decided to take a career break in 2013 but in 2016 my dog lady died and I was devastated. I probably hadn't felt that level of grief ever in my life. I actually remember saying to my husband, I don't think I'll ever enjoy another day in this world. So a few weeks after her death, I decided to paint her because I wanted to honor her life and I just wanted to feel close to her. And when she started to appear on the canvas, I just, I was blown away by it. And I decided this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. And I'm going to try and devote as much time as I can to painting animals. When I started taking commissions, firstly, I suppose the science part of me was asking, you know, if you want to do this for the rest of your life, why would this be important? And I think historically commission portraits were done of important people in society and the well off. So to get a portrait of your pet is a real statement. And the other thing is when I do a portrait, I'd always ask for uh, information about the pet, about their personality. And I keep that in my head as I'm painting them and I hope to capture it in, in their character and in their eyes. The stories in Susan's book honor the lives of 43 pets, various animals such as dogs, cats, horses, parrots, guinea pigs, all with unique backgrounds. The stories have come from the United States, they've come from Wales and obviously all over Ireland. I put a call out to animal lovers to contribute a story about the impact of their pet on their lives and in return for the story they'll get a portrait and uh, the book I call it The Human Rescuers. In this case the rescuers are the animals who rescued the humans. I didn't know if there would actually be a lot of research on animal psychology and biology, so I um, started researching in PubMed, that's a search engine of biomedical literature and the life sciences. And one of the studies that, that I absolutely loved, because it's the one that I'll be pulling out when someone says, it's just a dog. Um, this professor in America, Professor uh, Gregory Burns from MRI University in Atlanta, he trained his dog through positive encouragement to go into an MRI scanner. So he was able to uh, see what was happening in her brain. And he discovered that the part of the brain uh, responsible for emotion, the caudate nucleus, it's very similar in dogs, it's very similar to that in humans. And so he concluded that our responsibility to a dog is that of a guardian or parent to a child. And my hope is that animal lovers will read it and feel justified by the science and that non-animal lovers will read it and say, maybe I was wrong. One of the pets featured in this book is Kailash. Neil, welcome. Wow. welcome. <laughs> she was found as an abandoned street pup in Nepal by Cork-based pediatrician Neve Lynch. Yeah, have Neve had spent some time there in 2003, working as a UN volunteer. 
The moment she took in Kailash, they became inseparable. This is Lee's first time seeing the portrait. Thank you. You're very welcome. She has always had some kind of magical quality to her. She's always had an, a deep kind of connection with me and with my husband. And we had just met actually when we found her. So she has, she's been there for our whole relationship. She's grown, my kids have grown up with her and you could kind of tell that they were growing when they became bigger than her. And, uh, you know, it, it was a great kind of benchmark. You know, you could gauge the years passing by how small she looked next to them. She considers them her kids as well, I think. Unfortunately, Kailash passed away three days after this was filmed. Arriving together, eager and excited, are Liz and Zita. This will be their first time seeing the finished portraits of their pets. That was really awesome. Fantastic. Aww. A moment that seemed to evoke some strong emotions. Just unbelievable. It's just actually like it was a huge animal stomach. And we thought we were gonna lose him. He's starting to come back to his normal self so we that's where he had the uh, um, the drip. Yeah. That's, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, oh my gosh. We honestly thought we were going to lose him. He's just, he's just absolutely fabulous. <laughs> All of them are amazing, but I just can't get over it. The look. That's exactly how she looks. <laughs> like her little face. It's just beautiful. And you know that just having that and knowing that that would be something that would be hanging, kind of for ever at home. Yeah, it's beautiful. I know that every animal here is adored and loved and I know that these paintings will be cherished as well. They're, these paintings, like the animals, they're going to their forever homes and that's where they're meant to be. A collection of Susan's art can be found on her website. There, she also posts about her findings on the science behind the bond between animals and humans. I hope they take away that if you open your heart and your world to an animal and allow them to open theirs to you, that the reward you'll get will be bountiful and you'll never look back. Susan's work can be viewed on her website. <laughs>